Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. I've been getting like a million questions to finally do a hair tutorial. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, the camera has a low battery so I'm gonna try and get this done quick. I'm gonna start with saying that the curling iron that you use is so important. So I use this one, This is, you can just get this on Amazon, but it is the best curling iron. It is very long, as you can see here. This, for example, this is the curling iron I used to use and it is quite a bit longer and I promise it makes a huge difference. Another question I get all the time is if I have extensions. Yes, I do. I have one row of like hand tied extensions. Just brushing my hair out, parting it down the middle. Now I'm gonna use a heat protectant. So I'm gonna use this one. So here's my hair not curled. Well, these are like three day old curls. I haven't touched it up since Saturday morning. I'm going to take this first piece and then I curl everything away from my face. Sorry, I'm looking at my hair. And then it's kind of hard to tell on this piece, so I'll show you on a longer one. Okay, so I'll show you on this piece. So on a piece like this, I take like one inch pieces and then I take my curling iron and I curl it about that much and then I twist it out. And then I just keep putting more hair in and twisting out. And as you can see, it goes by really quick. I really don't let it sit that long. I just like continually twist it out and put new hair in. So I'll show you again. Hair in, twist, twist, twist. And this is what they look like. They're like super tight, tight and crazy looking. Normal twist. And sometimes I'll do the double twist before I... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like it's more of a visual thing. You just have to like watch. And because you're like going through it so fast, it like really doesn't take that much time to do my whole head. I can curl my entire head in like seven or eight minutes and I have a lot of hair. So that's saying a lot. Okay, I just have a couple pieces left. So I'm gonna show you on this side, but same thing. Twist it all out. I woke up feeling extremely dizzy this morning, like having vertigo. And I was trying to like, I guess, I don't know, Google says that, which by the way, if you're feeling off, don't Google it because you'll scare yourself. I, I Googled it and I guess like the crystals in my ear may be off. So I was trying to reset them and it just made me feel worse and didn't help at all. So I'm still feeling dizzy. So I love that for me. I'm not going to do it today, but sometimes... I'll put this oil in at this stage, which is like not brushed out yet. So this is one of my favorite oils. I kind of need to wash my hair, so I'm going to use some dry shampoo. You're going to take a wide tooth comb. You can also brush it out. For some reason when I travel, I don't bring this comb with me, so I just brush them out with my hairbrush. I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference, but I like to use the comb. So just comb it out. And this is what it looks like. So it is very easy if you figure out how to do the twist method. But once you get it, it's extremely easy. So yeah, that is it. I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in my hair and put some makeup on and finish my day. I'm actually not gonna put makeup on. I, for some reason, I'm not feeling it today. Probably because I'm dizzy and I just don't. I have nothing to do today until tonight, so I'm just not going to do it. Squad lunch. We have, well, he's having leftover chicken. I'm having chickpeas as my protein. Chickpeas well, with... The chicken's going to be garlicky. <laughs> I mean, the uh, rice. Oh! Rice, chickpeas, and veggies. Suggest not veggies. hanging out with us in the next few days because we're going to have garlic breath. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys, every person that comes over to eat dinner at our house. This is what you're gonna eat. Hypes me up about my veggies. Oh. And 
this is the trick right here. Mix the green goddess seasoning and a citrusy garlic from Trader Joe's, and then obviously salt and pepper. I thought you were going to say every person that comes over to our house is going to eat chicken, rice, and veggies. Oh, yeah. I mean, that too. You're probably correct. Um, I don't Ooh. think we ever eat anything else. No, we do. Occasionally jambalaya. Jambalaya, uh, chick, like the uh, gluten-free pasta. Oh, yeah. Pretty bonza nice. pasta with the... Uh, yeah. um, it's like the black truffle sauce. Yep. Rare occasion we have like steak night. Yeah. Salmon. I guess we do. When your dad, 95% of the time it's chicken and veggies. Brad salmon. Unbeatable. Last night's dinner. Her dad. Brad veggies. is her dad. He, you know, yep. My dad. He makes the best salmon. My parents come over for dinner sometimes. and. He's just honestly pretty elite on the grill. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like there's just a certain age where you become empty on the grill. Like when you're just like the dad on the grill. My I'm entire life that. I've hyped up. Even as a kid, I'd be like, my dad's better at the grill than your dad. I know, but every dad's <laughs> good at grilling, right? Like just dad out there and like he's just, you know, got his With beer. His spatula. And his, no, not a spatula, these. They do every time. And he's yeah. just out there flipping like burgers and all this, you know. Yeah, it's a thing. One day that'll be you. I know years from now. Okay, we'll show you the finished product. Oh yeah, look at chefing it up. Those are nice. Good job, babe. Hmm. How about like when you cook, I like to just come over and just kind of like... You mess with everything. Me mess with stuff just because I'm like, I'm not bored, hungry. Finished product. Protein, veggies, rice, health. I'm going to go eat some Mike and Ike's after this though. We're going on a Target date. I have not been to Target in like over a month. Isn't that crazy? I haven't even done a drive up order. I yeah, haven't been to Target in way too long, so we're going to get random stuff like dish soap and tin foil. We'll do a Target haul when we get back home. Ooh, I got a unibrow. <laughs> oh, he almost fell out. I think he's strapped on. Look at that guy and his dog. Yeah, he is sketchy. The guy is sketchy oh. on his electric bike. Hi vlog. Whoa. The lens like is like smudgy. You, yeah, it's from the champagne. You like when I what? I like when you take control of the camera. School bus. She's sketchy at driving. Ask literally anybody who's ever driven with you, they'll tell you you're sketchy. Kenny Day was talking about your driving the other day. What'd he say? He said you're so slow. Mad Dog's car has a five-point harness in it, so I'm somewhat safe. Maybe it's got a roll cage. I might have to send an email to MBUSA to make sure they put roll cages I'm in the GLEs. I'm way safer driver than you. Way safer. We should take a poll. Let's take an Instagram poll. Who's a safer driver? Well, everyone's going to say you because I'm a girl. I don't know. I everyone's going to say probably you because I'm so. everyone thinks I'm so sketchy on a dirt bike. <laughs> Target haul. We needed body wash and dish soap. Cauliflower, tzatziki, carrots. We go through like three of these a week. I don't know how. Cameron goes through like two of these a week. Wait. Stevia. Chocolate chips. My favorite coffee creamer. Bonza hey. pasta. Oh. I've been looking for these cookies for like a year at every grocery store we go to, and Target had them. So I got three. I tried to get five, but I was told now. I, I was walking towards like the dairy, or like the, towards like the almond milk section or whatever. I saw you like, I was walking towards the other section, and I saw you like, your eyes lit up. I gasped. And you were like this, like, so I turned around, and I came over to the end aisle, and you were just going like this, grabbing one after another, after another, after another, and I'm like, those are like 48 cookies per package, like we don't need, six packages of them. But I've been looking for them for so long, what if I never see them again? The best pickles, oh. Melatonin, peanut butter powder, chocolate, green beans, sweet potatoes. We have lots of almond milk. There's our Target cookie review. Cameron always says I'm the absolute worst at opening things. So bad. You have a pair of bag directly down the side. Like this? Oh my 
Gosh, they are literally a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the best cookie I've ever eaten, and that was raw. It's the next day, and I'm getting ready again. I feel like that's what I say in every vlog. I spent the morning cleaning up, getting the house together. Getting the house together is a lot, guys. And I'll just give you a rundown of our normal week. So, Monday we're home, Tuesday we're home, Wednesday we're home. And we have things to do. Grocery shopping, going to the track, doing other work. And then, on top of that, you have to maintain a house. And then, we leave Thursdays. And we're gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we fly back Sunday. So, that's just what happens during the race season, and it's fun. I definitely spend most of the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday cleaning and getting the house just back together because it's just nice to always have a clean house. We're a little OCD, so a clean house is a must around here. I'm just getting ready because we have some filming to do for a feature that Supercross is doing. But we are very, very blessed to live in California where it is so nice year round. Daylight savings, when the sun starts setting at seven again, you literally cannot beat it. I feel like as soon as that happens, just life is so good. My skin is literally so dry. I got this pimple on Saturday and it's just like a red dot now. Do you ever get those? Those suck. Like makeup just doesn't cover it. I'm like, you're not, you're just a red spot. The pimple's gone. Our room is a mess, I'm sorry. But this is the outfit, just a black bodysuit and my favorite jeans that have like the slit down the side. I'm just making a snack that I wanted to share what it is because it's a really weird snack, but it's so good. So you're gonna take raw green beans, I'm in a bowl. Okay, now you're gonna take some avocado oil or olive oil or whatever and spray them down. I think I mentioned this last night when we were cooking dinner, but everyone that comes over to our house and eats our food, they always are like, what do you do to your vegetables? And this is the answer, these two seasonings. I'm literally just gonna take some tongs and just like toss them up. This is what it looks like. Um, if you don't like green beans, you definitely won't like this, but it's a good healthy snack, so you're welcome. I forgot to vlog. Today? No, just like since I got ready. <laughs> my mom oh, and my friend Sarah came over to help me with save the dates because I was supposed to send them like two months ago and I didn't, so finally sent them out. Well, I didn't send them, but... They're ready to go. We're making wedding progress today, this week. I'm not a good wedding planner. Oh shit. I'm not a good wedding planner. Me? Me. You're doing good, I think. I'm okay. tired. Me too. So. It's been a long day. Chip, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> Chip, how was your day? You had lots of friends come over, didn't you? We'll report back. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. What time is it? 703, 803? 803. We're about, we're, I feel like we're past our, like, in bed time. Yeah. We're I'm exhausted. way less time than I expected. My mom came over and my bridesmaid Sarah came over to help me and we got it done really fast but exciting things that I just ordered our wedding invitations this morning. I haven't been like emotional about any of the wedding planning process for some reason which I was surprised by but when I ordered the invitations I literally started like almost almost crying 
I was like, what the heck? It's really exciting and it finally feels like it's getting real because I'm actually wedding planning and I haven't done that at all. I was like not a wedding planner person, like to get a wedding planner. And by the time I thought about it, I'd already booked a couple of vendors, so I was like, well, it's too late now to get a wedding planner, but I wish I did. I have a wedding coordinator for the day of and stuff, and I would 100% suggest doing that because just the timing of everything on the wedding day is like kind of a lot to do on your own or have like a friend do. So I have a wedding coordinator, and I'm excited about that, but I wish that I had her do like the whole wedding planning thing because I don't like it. It's just like a lot more stressful than you think and just with how busy we are it's just like I don't make the time to do it but this week I got a lot done and I'm happy that I did but we'll see how much else I do. We're like six months out now. If you're a, a videographer, a DJ, um, a photo booth or whatever else you need. We have photographer and florist and that's it. So if you have, if you're any of the other vendors that I need, please comment below because I need your help. I'm making strawberries for breakfast. So yummy. And then I just put some stevia on it and it's so good. Chip and I are going to the coffee shop because Cameron needs some more coffee beans. And... Chip loves to go in the car, so I thought I'd bring him with me. You want to go to Indianapolis this weekend? Are you tired from barking? He sits here all day and barks at the dogs across the street. Why do you do that? I guess it's fine if I'm home alone. We are heading to Indianapolis tomorrow, and obviously... And we're actually going to go to the Motor Speedway, I think is what it's called, and do like a tour of it, which will be really fun. I've never been to the Speedway. And all of that will be on Cameron's channel with the race vlogs. So I'm going to film a little bit of that because I think that'll be fun. But make sure to go check out um, the Detroit vlog that we just posted and then all the other ones and Indy will be up sometime next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.